Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're going to show you guys how to properly uninstall Microsoft Office from your Mac. Before we jump into that, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows Server, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first step to remove Office is we're gonna actually just pull up our Finder and we'll navigate down to Applications. I'll change this to the list view. We now can see everything alphabetically in a list format. Under the Microsoft section here, I'm gonna click down to Word. I'll hold Shift and I'll select the rest of my Microsoft applications. All right, and then with these selected, I will hold them down and I'll press Delete. This is going to require an administrator password. So the same password you use to log into your computer and we'll press OK. Now at this point, Office is officially gone from our computer. However, we can take some additional steps to uninstall preferences and settings. Up at the top, I'll press Go, and then holding Option down to bring up the library, I'll click on that. Once in the library, we're looking for a folder called Preferences. So we'll go down to where P is, and we can click under Preferences. Now we're gonna search for Microsoft. All right, and then anything that says com.microsoft, these are all files that are preferences stored locally on our computer, even though we don't actually have the applications installed. Now, it's totally up to you whether you leave or delete these. In my case, I'll leave them, but you can delete them if you want. And the last step is to repair permissions. We can search for disk utility, press enter to open it up. We wanna select our local disk, which is Macintosh HD in my case. Once in disk utility, we could run the first aid to check and repair any necessary errors that took place when we removed the applications. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about any parts of that process, drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. We strongly encourage any specific video topic ideas you may have. And lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.